The Santa Squad is a pretty good film. This was released in 2020. It's directed by John Bradshaw, written by Mark Valenti, and this stars Rebecca Dalton as Ali. And Ali is looking after these two daughters of a wealthy business owner, and she's there to also help prepare the house for Christmas, and that basically entails dressing the Christmas tree in very expensive ornaments and not really doing any fun activities. And of course, Ali doesn't really think that this is acceptable because these two young girls deserve to have a fun-filled Christmas. But not only do they not get to relax and, and have fun, but they also don't get to spend much time with their father as well. And this is something that's really clearly affecting them. So Ali has set out to show the girls how fun Christmas can actually be while also trying to show their father the same thing and help him to rediscover the true magic of Christmas and what he should really be focusing on over the holidays and help him find a bit more balance in his life. There are two reasons that this is great. One, all of the characters are very likeable. Ali in particular is likeable um, as, as our protagonist. To begin with, I wasn't sure if I'd like her. She had a couple of annoying personality traits. She seemed to be very over-enthusiastic to begin with, which I didn't really get on board with, but it kind of mellowed out as the film progressed, and I ended up really liking her. The girls are brilliant as well. Um, we have Rose and Iris, played by Hattie Cragden and Molly Lewis, and um, we also have Aaron Ashmore playing their father, Gordon, who is generally likeable. Obviously, I don't like his attitude and his behaviour, but I think it's easy to get on board with his story and follow his part of the narrative and wish the best for him. Obviously, I want him to go on this journey and rediscover Christmas, but it's not an easy journey for him. It definitely is a long process that is actually really enjoyable to watch. It's also very festive, which works very well because obviously Ali is introducing the children to these different festive traditions. So we have a lot of things going on there. Some really great Christmas music as well. I really thoroughly enjoyed it. It's a very easy watch. And by that, I mean it's, it's heartwarming. It's easy to become emotionally involved with the characters' journeys. Nobody has any problematic behaviour, apart from... Ali's slightly over-enthusiasm at the beginning and at no point did I think the narrative was going off in the wrong direction so I, I rather enjoyed it. If you haven't seen The Santa Squad and you're looking for a pretty pleasant, very festive Christmas rom-com then I'd say it's a pretty good choice to go with. I definitely had fun with it.